Vic's refusal to comply with Andy's request for Diane to attend the critical incident stress debriefing demonstrated her unwavering support for the people at Station 19 and the value of her contribution to the SFD. Vic prioritized the safety of her fellow firefighters, using her new training to assist them after a terrifying call, despite her close relationship with Morris and the fact that she had recently discovered he had passed away after being prohibited from attending the call because of her probation. Vic's handling of the CISD demonstrated that she still had a lot to offer, even though Osman's reasons for terminating her included how Crisis One had facilitated the sharing of Vic's knowledge with all firefighters who had to handle calls made difficult by mental health crises. Vic's elevation to the position of head of Crisis One is the finest thing that could have happened to the program and SFD because of her empathy, training, and capacity to accept others' feelings and transform them into something easier to handle. Since the first episode of Station 19's seventh season, Vic has been suppressing her emotions. Even though having sentiments was always one of her fundamental characteristics, she dismissed any problems in her private and professional lives, no matter what had transpired. When Vic finally blew up in front of her fellow firefighters, it became impossible to ignore Vic's dilemma and became public knowledge. Although Ben, Travis, and Vic had observed a shift, the latter even startlingly inquiring of Kate how to stop caring about others, no one dared to express their concerns. Vic's meltdown made her problems inevitable, but it also opened her up to feeling everything, even Morris's devastating loss, by removing the lid on her bottle. Hopefully, this will help her heal now that her condition has been identified and brought to light. One of Station 19's closest friendships had always been between Vic and Travis, but Vic's lack of empathy and compassion caused her to push Travis away because she knew he would have seen right away that something was wrong with her. Travis' desire to be by her during every stage of her dilemma previously demonstrated his unwavering support, but it wasn't until after Vic's outburst that the two were able to regain their composure as friends. In fact, their equilibrium was restored by Travis's frank admission that he was scared for her safety but remained silent, like, in the movies when the baby is born and it's not crying, which was immediately followed by his jokes about Vic's future puffy eyes from sobbing so much. Vic and Travis were among the closest friends at Station 19, as evidenced by their exchange and his waiting, a whole three minutes, to find her the right moment to rejoin. Their friendship was always marked by vulnerability and shameless humor. I hope you enjoyed these theories, I'll post more soon. Thanks for viewing. Watch out for the next shocking surprise.